Okay. I'm not running the invisible stuff, but and you guys could have gotten a view of this place, but you did not. Mr. Hacker, I'm looking at you. <laughs> and because you didn't think about it in advance, I'm just going to say what direction you come in. Bathroom window. Okay, so you guys pull up and you see this warehouse ahead of you. The one they talked about. Um, you can generally scan the area if you wish and try to see who's where. Uh, your sensor analyst would probably be the best at this if you want to use your best person. That's Charlie, your captain. Captain yeah, Pavilion. Sounds like a roll, but I guess uh, it's not a bad idea. So that'd be what perception or? You can just drive up. Yeah, that would be perception. Plus your scanner. Okay. So you got four dice from perception and two from your scanner. Okay. Can we do anything else? Like just do a little circle the block just to give me a little extra advantage okay. on that? Yeah, uh, he did roll really well. So we can say that that compounded with this. So he does a circle around the block. He is, but he managed to take both a stealthy route and a observant route. Okay. So, like that's the both worlds, Captain. I'm giving you everything, and that sort of thing. So you managed to look over. It. So you gain one advantage for that. So that's one more die. Okay. And the difficulty for this because. But you can't use all of those dice because you actually need some of them to power the calibration of your um, I think this is the first time we've had to do that. It is the first time you had to do that. So you probably okay. want the entire region. Okay. Uh, which would give you the entire outside of the building, but not the inside. Okay. If So you can only do that. So you put one point to AOE of region. Uh, if you do it when within the next region over what you're doing, so you only have to spend one point for that. Okay. So, got that's it. basically the point you got from the advantage. So you get sure. to roll perception of four, five, six. Six versus two. <clears throat> And nothing's happening. It might be lagging behind. We'll oh, it up here it comes. Time. Here it comes. Did you turn on 3D dice? Mm, I didn't. Zero! <laughs> Jesus. It's not a negative one! <laughs> not a fail! But... <laughs> wow. <laughs> Okay, that's well, technically a failure. Nash do all the rolls. <laughs> Nash do all the rolls. <laughs> okay, so... How did you do that? <laughs> you had two successes. And, and two you failures. rolled both of your, your threat dice. At, yeah. Nope. You aren't going for big guys. You just have to roll sixes across the board and you win. All the winning <laughs> happens. Anyways, it's like Yahtzee. Okay. So We're horrible Yahtzee you players. You circle around. No. You can't see anybody. You're like, you're not even sure that they're there. Yeah, I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> but it seems like there's nobody really doing. Like, there's nothing really big happening. So you kind of pull on up, and uh, uh, where do you want to park? Someone can ping where he wants to park for the vehicle, Nash. Or the captain can tell him, or somebody else can yell it out at him. So, so are there m multiple entrances, it looks like? Okay, so what we're looking at here is this is a big fenced area for Cal. 
right here. That's a fence area for yeah. cattle. This is the inside of the building over here. And this is the cattle uh. crush where they move them when they're inside. And this is some inside building. If it will do it again, yes. Uh, these are exterior stairs. And upstairs of the building is over here. And you can see there's some sort of office or something. I'm not giving you a lot of info because you failed. <laughs> and there may or may not be people standing around or something. You don't know. Well. Where do you want to park? I don't know. What do you guys think? They just like. I'm thinking here. Yeah, over here. Well, there or. I was thinking if y'all can handle it, like over here too. Somewhere close to the external stairs. Right, yeah. Yeah, you could park right here if you wanted. Well, well, there's an option. Let's do that. Yeah. <laughs> you say close to the stairs. I'm like, well, the external stairs come down right there. Okay. Boom. Sure. Put your land speeder there. Okay, so... Okay, so basically you drive up, you drive past, and you don't see them until you're right on top of them. There's two two men standing and dressed in suits, uh, a human in a triax, uh, carrying basically uh, blaster rifles, and they're basically standing directly in front of the doors. And then you pull around the corner, and there's a guy standing in front of the stairs also carrying a blaster rifle. So there's three. Three that you've seen. All right, three that we can save. Okay, what is the plan? Do you have a plan? Or are you just um, going in? That's totally fine. Just. I mean, I think we want to confirm that these are the Don's men before we say who we are. And Well, there is a guy coming towards your vehicle right now. Okay. Should I eat him, Captain? <laughs> no. <laughs> Ironically, Reznor hates the cat and car carnivore. But anyways. <laughs> Nom. <laughs> now you, my, you'd be more into their leftovers. <laughs> just going to stash them in the trunk, guys. You shouldn't be you around here for the next three days. Not your own race. Okay, so uh, you see the two guys from, well, one of the guys from the door come up behind you. Uh, there's a guy up behind the fence that just kind of appeared there magically because you can't see with crap. And uh, the guy walked up to the window and he's looking at the window and he knocks on it with his blaster rifle. Okay, yeah. Uh, just... Illustrious leader? I don't know. Whoever has the best talkies? Probably not me. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, I mean, I'll I talk. Can, I can talk good stuff until we get to rolling. <laughs> okay, you opening the window so he can talk to you? Or are you going to like, uh, contact him by the data flow? Like, what's your deal here? Um, I'd say data flow. Okay, so oh, by the way, data flow, info you might not know. One of the things, now that you're within range, you can detect everybody's data flow things with, like, a communications <laughs> kind of task. Um, so you can do a Wi-Fi communication scan if you want. Kind of is that communication or that would that would actually be interface? That would be communications. Mm. So that would be a job for our sensor. Probably. Who's right. also our captain? Yeah. <laughs> the doing everything dude right now. Uh, you. I'm just saying that that is an option that most people don't know about because it isn't super option. And it wasn't in Star Trek. So. <laughs> right. Um. I think it's more important to talk to the guy with the gun. Okay, first. so you open the window? <laughs> sure. Opening the window. He's like, what are you doing here? There's no parking. Uh, you uh, friends of Don Serrano? What if I am? Or Sarnio? What if I am? Uh, well, so are we. So where do we park? Oh, somebody's got big friends, does he? Let me see. He looks, so he can only see the front, so he can only see you and Nash. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to look at him and be like... I don't recognize either of you. Boston of course you wouldn't. I have a pink fro. 
So, uh, you know, we got an appointment. Yeah? Who, who's, the, who's the appointment for? Who's the dawn meeting? So, I mean, I'm pretty convinced that these are the right guys, I think, at this point. Yeah, but at this point, uh, the, 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 there's like a pretty much like an airlock kind of door. Mm -hmm. It opens, and Antonia's like, just tell the dawn we're here. Mm -hmm. God damn it, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> and he looks at her and he's like, being cautious. <laughs> she, you see, she flicks him something. Like, that's what people transfer stuff via the data flow that way. She flicks him something. He's like, okay, I'll, I'll bring you guys in. So, about that parking playboy. <laughs> <laughs> he was just razzing you, trying to get you to move off if you're just a rube. Sure. Okay. So, cool. what's the plan? Are you going in? You going to the front door? Are you going to the side door? He's waiting for you outside. Is everybody getting out? I'm getting out. I'm gonna. I'm I think so. Gonna get out. Because apparently, okay. I can fight. My guy can fight. His fitness and all that. His athletics are pretty high. So. Weapons is the main fighting skill. Yeah. Running and stuff is athletics. Fitness <clears throat> is like, uh, if there's an explosion or you're dealing with radiation or something, that would be fitness. Okay. Well, I got my, my weapons are pretty high too. Well, I say high because it's three. Okay. I don't know. I've got decent weapons. I think about three. Okay, yeah. so you guys are all getting out. You're all packing the tractor array, tractor pistols and stuff. Okay, so you guys. Uh, by the way, you can control your vehicle remotely. It just gives you a disadvantage. Looking at you, Rez. <laughs> what? Uh, I, so I can control. That, it's a Rez. piloting skill. <laughs> Oh shit! Okay, it's mine. <laughs> Remote Sorry, guys. Yeah, I've only got like a two in piloting, so I don't help none. Anyways, I'm just telling you, just in case. Okay, so you're looking up at the building. It's a two-story building. There's windows on the second floor. There's no windows on the first floor because it's a warehouse. And he's standing there waiting for you all to get out of the car. Is everybody out? I pull out. Okay. So yeah. He takes you around the front, down over here, and you see these two guys that are basically walking backwards and then back into their position, and they open the doors. And on the inside of the doors, you see a large, fat Martian. And he... Um, who's... One second, let me look at what is here. Do, do, do. put on weight. <laughs> he he raises his hands and he's wearing this really well fitted suit and he's he's like you, and only Charlie you only understand this unless you guys want to roll a comms a communications thing to try to understand the language he's speaking because he's speaking Italian and only Charlie speaks Italian. Uh, he convenient. He basically is like, daughter! And she's like, uncle! And they hug. Her and Ant uh, Antonia and this Martian, who's obviously Don Sarnio, hug. And they start... They hug, and then she steps back in this funny way, and she gives them, like, this handshake. And, um... Who's bringing the goods? Is anybody bringing the goods in, or did you leave them in the car? Um, I think I'm probably bringing them in. Okay. So you have your, uh, your, uh, tractor pistol out, and you basically have it folded, like, halfway down and using it to drag these along. It's a routine task. It will make moving harder on you, like, if you try to run away or something with them. Okay. Okay. So, um, you all should roll politic. Difficulty. Yeah. Just roll the flat scale. No, roll politic plus any association you have with either UEN or CMA. Okay. So CMA. Hmm. I think I've had so I would have one plus two. <clears throat> you can't use both of two. them. You can only use one tool at a time. So I got two. Okay. Wait, CMA or what? CMA. UEN. UEN. Okay. United Earth Nations. All right, let's see here. Charlie, you have two in that. I think you might be the only one. I got two in CMA, so I got a total of four here. 
Okay. Yeah, we'll only got and the, di the difficulty is... Four. <laughs> Great. Let's Here see. Yeah, Charlie! Not yeah, me. Charlie! That's our fearless captain! <laughs> I'm not sure what... Let me see. So mine would be... Looking at... Sorry, I'm kind of slow here. Politic would be two plus one for the CMA. Uh, I got yeah. one. So it would be three, I think, right? So this is a teamwork task. So any negatives count badly, but you use your your best success. Oh, I'm just trying to figure out what my I think mine's about okay, three. Right there. Okay, I'll help you out there. So it's lots of people talking. Yeah, sorry. Okay, so your politic, your skill, you have training of two in that. You have no other skills. And no, then, and then I got one in CMA, I think. So you have three dice. Three, okay. That's what, that's what I want. I'm making sure. And okay. the threat is four. Or yes. Threat is four. Perfect. Time to fail. Oh, Dude. epic. <laughs> First like negative two of the game goes to Resner. I'm not rolling, I'm literally rolling crap the whole time. <laughs> it does not like me. Okay. So Reznor's like, so, this mafia stuff, it's cool, right? <laughs> <laughs> He's a legitimate businessman, what are you talking about? <laughs> okay, so. I'm gonna have Do you Italians like page. cannolis? <laughs> I'm not the smoothest. <laughs> Okay, via sub, uh, BCI text messages from Charlie and some vocalizing, you all find out that um, that they're basically giving like a, a ritual greeting. Like uh, he's welcoming her into the family, and she is taking his acceptance with grace, but then she's stepping back. And uh, showing that she's independent and on an equal footing with him. Or at least only <clears throat> slightly subservient. She's not putting herself in the daughter position, more as a, a prospective business partner by doing the same thing. But putting the warmthness of that in there. Um, so she's saying she's a big girl now. Yeah, there's. Well, they're not actually uncle or anything. That was all. It's all. That's part of like the ritual. It's like part of the whole nickname kind of. Mafia uh, kind of deal. Okay. So, um, so yeah, that's going on, and this this is it's basically <clears throat> you can see, and he brings her upstairs, and he motions for for uh, Carter to drop the boxes at the bottom of the stairs so his guys can look at them, and they go up to the office. Who is going where, and doing what? I am sticking with the materials that they're inspecting. Okay, so you stand next to the materials. Nash? Uh, since I have pretty good fighting potential, I guess I'll just uh, pull security by Charlie. Because I assume our captain, our fearless captain, is going to go and Are make you going sure with Charlie? <clears throat> yeah, I would stick with Antonia unless she you know, indicates she doesn't want me to. Okay, Resnor 8, where are you going? Hmm, that was a tough call. Um, I think I you might... should pull security with Carter. Yeah, I think so. I'm a big, scary mushroom man. Okay, maybe. so that, that we all know what's going on. You got the downstairs here. That's where the boxes are. And then there's an upstairs that you can now see easily. Uh, there's a big grate around here, and you can see there's <coughs> a couple armed, armed guys up on each corner. Uh, there's one, two, three armed guys on the walk on the walkway, and then there's the office, which you can't see in currently. And they're heading towards the office. So Charlie, you're walking with them. Resnor, are you going upstairs onto the grate? Nash, are you going up to the grate or going to the office? Um, I'm going to shadow Charlie. This is Charlie. Are you going in the office or on the standing out on the walkway? Um. I'm just sticking to Antonia until she... Okay, she's going to the office. Unless she wants tell. other ones. So they walk up the stairs and across this upper walkway and in through these doors. There's a window into the office. You can see the office. It's just got 
a table in the middle of the office and some couches and plants around the outside. It's got another we, door that goes down. Are we on a new map? Could we be on a new? No. Okay. Down at the bottom of the map, which is probably underneath everything, scroll down a little, you'll see upper floor mentioned. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And there's the office. I see it. Yeah, here. Okay. okay. So this is a walkway. You can see down into the cattle crush from there. And the cattle crush is kind of empty and it's actually been cleaned. So this is a unused Torador uh, cattle warehouse. So, so, everybody ping and show me where you are so I know. I'm trying to ping. I can't tell if it's doing it. I, I think it is, but it's like messed up okay, for some reason. So, there's two downstairs uh, and two in the office. All right. We could get some tokens if you want. Oh, yeah. I can get some tokens. I didn't assign your stuff tokens, but... The internet has failed me. I was looking for a picture with a raptor and a pink fro. Okay. I think tokens with names will just be fine. <laughs> yeah, let's just... Uh... There we go. Four tokens. Okay. Can I sign these to people? Yeah, you click on yeah. them and there's like a setting button. Um, click that and you should be able to assign them to people. Oh, there's a setting button. Okay, this one's Charlie. You can make that smaller. That'd be great. This one's Zerlito, although I should have used the green one. Uh, there's... Zerlito's not around anymore, I think. Uh... Oh. Yeah. It's, yeah. I just lost track. Okay. Nash, then. Do you already have one, Carter? Uh, not as far as I'm aware. This one's yours. Where are you downstairs? Mm hmm. Okay, I guess this one's mine. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't I, I guess since I was following Charlie or whatnot, I think I'd probably be up on the catwalk. Okay, or this the... one? That's, yeah. You're on the catwalk outside, or are you inside the office? Um, outside. Well,. I think, because didn't Nash follow um, Charlie in? Nash, did you follow Charlie in? Yes. Okay. I should so be this right is by you, Charlie. the white one. Okay. I'm the here. white one. This is just walking. <clears throat> so I'll probably be... I'll probably stick around outside just in case it's like an early warning. Okay. And you're downstairs oh. then, Carter. Okay, cool. Okay, so they sit down and they start to chat in Italian. Carter, did you want to get involved in the negotiation or are you going to just let them deal with what they're going to deal with? Uh, Nash, you can also get involved. Char Charlie, I meant to say. Sorry. Uh, I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to look imposing with my Velociraptor self. Yeah, no, I don't think I uh, want to get involved. Okay, so they, they start having this conversation. Um, they're talking about shipping and how they're going to sell it and lots of stuff like that, all the stuff you've already found out. Carter, downstairs, uh, this guy comes up and he's got this device, like a big stick and a little bit of a backpack, and he starts to 
scan the boxes. He opens each of them up and scans them. Um, who is who's outside on the balcony there? Sorry, Resner. Yep. Okay, Resner. Uh, I need you to roll perception and your scanner. All right. So let me see. The perceptions three, and my scanner would be two. So that'd be a five. Yeah, and difficulty is five. Five and five. Perfect. Let's see my horrible roll. Yeah! <laughs> Finally! I get a win! Okay, so you notice um, one of the two guys, there's like three guys that are all kind of eyeing you. One of them walks towards the door, and he seems to be uh, communicating with somebody on the data flow. And um, <clears throat> you hear him say, uh, bring them in. And then he opens the door to the office. Hmm. So what do you want to do? He's talking on the data flow. He's saying, bring them in. And he's opening the door to the office. Yeah, like he's heading into the office. And he's like, bring them in. And it sounds kind of... Um, uh, you rolled Rush. two successes. It sounds kind of authoritative. Uh, like it's not the standard accent that they've all been speaking. Like it sounds like uh, like almost military or something. Hmm. Well, that's never um, good. Um, is there? I guess is there a way I can uh, warn Charlie and uh, Nash without drawing too much attention? Yeah, you can send him a message anytime. You know. Teams, group speak that players always do. That's part of the world here. You can spin each other without talking like messages using the data flow. All right. Well, I'm going to them uh, first. I'm going to you know ping them, tell them to you know just keep an eye out on this guy. And um, uh, is it just him there or like? But he he's he's upstairs outside the office. Yeah. Um, I probably should have made more of these. Note to self: make. Freaking icons, dudes. <laughs> um, I mean, we don't really have enough on this guy to like accuse him of being a traitor. That's kind of uh, why I said to let you all keep an eye on him. Can we? Um, can we kind of converge on him and and uh, see if we can't intimidate him into, you know, get. Sure, but you don't have a lot of time. Giving, giving away the what he what he's up to, you know, like said, what did he say? Send them in or whatever. Just yeah. Like, if it's gonna be a sting, it's gonna happen let's, quick. Yeah, let's like converge on him and just in his face and be like, you know, send who in? Who who are you talking to? What are you talking about? Just okay. And so hopefully, hopefully get get him to react. You know. Okay, so you rush at him at the door while well, he's still opening the door. You try to get at him. Okay. Yeah. Probably I meet him at the door. That's probably the best. Yeah, like as, as many of us as possible. Well I'm, well, I'm outside the door, so I'm gonna be like, you know, right next to him. Okay, so you come in behind. Are you guys trying to grapple him, bit, pretty much? Yeah, oh, just more grab him. Front, I think. Yeah, kind sort of just of sho shove, him, shove him into the corner and yeah. Okay, so um, who's going first? Who's gonna be grabbing him from behind? Probably Resner, right? Oh. So oh, we, me and Charlie would be coming from the front. Oh, count as athletics? Uh, to grab him? Fitness, yeah. athletics, weapons. You could use your weapons and actually use your weapon and, like, pretty much seize him with it. It is like a tractor beam. Um, oh, it is like, like a tractor beam? So I could literally, yeah. like, stop him. Uh, yeah, you could literally just grab him with it. Okay, let me see. So I've got a five in tractor, or a five with that be weapons plus tractor pistol. It'd be five, I think, right? Uh, let me check. Sorry, I was doing something else. Or Resnor? Yeah, I think, because I've got a three in weapons and I got a two in tractor. So that'd be a five yep. total. Yep, it would be. So I might try. I'll, yeah, I'll try to, like, stop him, you know, without harming him. Sort of like a, gra yeah, a tractor him. Okay. Okay. So, oh, that'll be, 
Uh, the difficulty of that would is going to be four. A four? All right. Let's see. Hopefully, turn our luck around here. Yes. Three successes. <laughs> yes. Okay, so you grab him and lift him up. Um, no, just give me the one second. No. That is three successes. Basically, make it makes it makes it so he can't move. Okay, so now this is this is the fancy thing. Okay, for most tasks, you have to get a three. For defeat and defend tasks, f when you're trying to defeat somebody, you have to get one greater than the number of armor slots they have. Okay, so um, that is the intended number. So if, if you're being attacked, likewise, they have to get one greater than the number of armor slots you have. So a lot of times that'll be three. Like uh, for, I think, uh, most of you guys, it's actually only a two because you don't actually have a lot of armor. But if you actually had body armor on, it would be three. Right. So, or like Zer Zerlito, actually, he has natural built-in armor on his his body. He's got s scales, so his would be three. So back on that's the how that would work. Um, this guy, he is wearing a armor vest. And he has regular armor, and he's a human, so three does succeed, and you suspend or capture him, because that's a Ooh. subdue thing. So you manage to grab him, you lift him up, and he's dangling in the air, and he's yelling, send him in now, send him in now! Oh, we gotta go. We need leaves. <laughs> okay, so uh, you hear, uh, you get, all get bombarded by... Um. Oh. By hey, look, messages. Look, look, unit. Hey. I'm just using random police-looking stuff. You basically get all get tons of messages. Uh, a bunch of messages are all on the data flow, telling you to give up. They're just like general blanket <coughs> communiques. Um. Trying to do this, so it's taking more time. So you have a bunch of blanket communiques telling you to give up. There's actually a loudspeaker, and you hear the sirens, and you see lights outside as the police have pulled up to the building and are basically attacking. Because you guys noticed this in advance, one of you have already gone. The other three of you can do things. Now, here's the question. Can we um uh, get like our gra gra grab with, like like the window of like the upper floor? Yes, so, like, you can. Smash it out yeah. and climb in. Yes. Yeah, it's awesome. Yes, you can. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. <laughs> that great, would... great plan. Yes, that would be our pilot's job. Yeah, Nash. <laughs> so Nash, your job is to remote pilot the graveler to smash in the back window. Yeah, the okay. upper window. Do you want to do that next then? You guys can choose your order in whatever order you want. Yeah, it was just... Reznor went first because he's the one who noticed things, but the rest of your order this <clears throat> round is otherwise. So, just so I'm clear with what I'm going to do, I'm going to have the vehicle smash into the window. We all climb in, and we jet out. Okay. Yep. And the That's... basic reminder... Everybody's nodding, so I felt like I had to say <laughs> yes. Um... <laughs> Uh, the ba basically every round you can do one uh, standard task and one compelled task. We've been doing them a lot of just here and there because we've been kind of in a looser setup. But every round you can do one of each of those. A compelled task is like defense, something like that. If there's multiple guys, it just gets harder. It gets more difficult to do that compelled task. So if six guys shoot you, it is like five times harder than the best guy out of that group attacking. Um, likewise, uh, when you do your standard task, uh, it can include other things. Like, you can run across something, jump, and climb in a vehicle, right? 
but that it's going to be a little bit harder because you're kind of you're doing this extra step. Oh. So, it so would it's probably subconscious my versus intent. Yeah, compelled versus what you want to do versus what I'm telling you you have to do. Compelled oh. versus standard kind of thing. Yeah. Right. Okay. You have your own intentions for each of your things too. So. What is my uh, my threat for this? Your threat for doing that is it's increased by one for the difficulty of of the the situation or difficulty because they were doing remote. He's inside, so he's not in a direct line of anybody. I think. Yeah, but I'm doing this off of a. Uh, a tablet for lack of a better. Well, you're not actually in the vehicle, so that's a, a difficulty of one just for that. Or it, yeah. It's a disadvantage just for that. Okay, so the flying up and crashing, <clears throat> flying up and flying over is freaking routine. You could do that in your sleep. That's super easy. But crashing through a window is a little bit more difficult. So. Well, do we have to crash through the window, or can we like bump it up against the window and have someone inside smash it out? Okay, so they're real windows, and they're not glass, because glass are stupid windows. They're really transparent to the minimum. So you have to basically use a vehicle to smash in the window. And that's the most difficult thing. So whenever you do a task, it's against the difficulty is based on whatever's the most difficult. And that thing becomes the threat. So the threat is for the this action is the window. And the All window right. is a four. Addendum... Could I, oh, should I just post it up against the, that railing, that external stair, and everybody just roll into there? I mean, the only person that I'm really worried about in this endeavor is Carter, since he's separated from our group. Oh, you mean so you guys you just jump off? You just jam it up the stairs, or next to the stairway? Yeah, just, could, like, yeah. Cause it's, since it can fly. Float it outside the stairway? Yeah, just yeah. float it, float it right next to, uh, before the stairs go down, the little platform, and then everybody can just, you know, hop in from there. So it is actually because it's a vehicle and stuff, it would normally be a three difficulty, but mm -hmm. it's four because it's remote. So if you want to smash into the windows, it's four. If you want to move it up there, you're basically just decreasing the movement amount by moving it up. So uh -huh. that would be a, that's been easy. That's a routine task. You can just do that. Which would you rather do? All right. Well, um, the routine versus the threat of the roll. <laughs> so it sounds like the stair option. Because just you could just go down right the along. stairs too. You are parked at yeah. the bottom of the stairs. True, but I mean, I'm, I'm looking at the I'm looking at the group right here. Whatever's I'm I'm trying to do whatever's easier yet still has the same level of urgency. Yeah, we've got to get Carter up the stairs to get to us to get out. Mm -hmm. Don't, don't worry about me. I'll, I'll handle it, man. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. You, you pretty much only have the front door or the back door to get through. There's no side door to the vehicle. Okay. So oh. if, you, if you did, you could also go through the doors, which would be one more difficulty. You could have it smash through the doors and come up right up the inside of the building. What yeah, do you think, Nash? Uh... Well, since I'm, I'm not hearing uh, anybody posing this, I guess just post up that rear door along that railing of the of the stairway. So the routine task? The routine task. Okay, so you don't do anything. You just kind of like the vehicle just lifts up about uh, a couple meters to the top of the stairs and makes it really easy for everybody to get out. So you get an advantage when you're trying to load into the vehicle to get away. Mm -hmm. Okay. Carter and Charlie, what are you guys doing? Uh, I think, um, yeah, I think I'm just trying to like lift up the the materials, right, um, that were laid down on the bottom floor, and I'm just trying to pick them up and like I think move them um, up the stairs to get like back into the car, or back into the grappler. Okay, so you're oh. gonna go upstairs. Okay, so uh... I would say ditch the material. <laughs> We've got. I We've got only two agendas. That's protect the two people that we're guarding, which are currently upstairs. Yeah, we've already we've already accomplished we didn't anything yet, about yeah. material. Yeah, well, uh, that's true. Our job is to protect those people and make sure they don't get arrested. That's our job. 
the material can go <laughs> screw itself. <laughs> yeah, I kind of, yeah. I kind of agree because it, it seemed like th those materials were kind of just a test sample. They're not like they're not va cool. valuable. Right? Oh, okay. It's I didn't valuable, but they're valuable, but it's not like a huge quantity. It's just no. This was just supposed to be an initial sample, right? Yeah, it's just a couple sure. tons of stuff. Okay, in that case, oh, I think I'm. Uh, I think I'm running up the stairs, just trying to like de defend myself from like looking around for anyone who's gonna go aggro on me. Um, otherwise, trying to get towards the vehicle and towards the rest of the the group. Okay. So I'm gonna have them all move during your round. Charlie, what are you doing? Um, can I just lay down some cover fire while we all try to pile into the? Vehicle. Yeah, some cover fire. That's an interesting idea. I mean, uh, you said that the windows are not glass, so. Well, I would say it'd be smart to keep um, Carter and Charlie out out of sight because they've seen their faces already. So if we can keep you all as incognito, they won't know it's us. They just know our vehicle. Maybe. Hmm. I mean, the only thing that really helps us is that we have a very common vehicle. Yeah. So, I mean, um, so on our... Carter and Charlie's face, you know, Yeah. on record, we want to keep um, them as invisible as possible. Does, um... Are you planning on running or are you planning on fighting? Well, I mean, it sounds... Yeah, it sounds to me like you're planning on running. There's a lot of people in here, it sounds like, so... Yeah. So I think Ho hopefully uh, the Don's men can uh, do most of the fight, right? Yeah, they're but, starting to fight right outside right now. This has all just happened. They're just arriving out yeah. like super quick. This is the first I, round. We're still in the first round. So, I mean, do, hmm. does Don Sarnio look like he wants a ride out of here? Well, in he's standing situation. up, he's looking over at this guy, he's got a dumbfound look on his face, and he's like, what the hell? Kind of thing. <laughs> right. So, I, I, mean, I mean, I don't know if I have to, to spend the turn to do that, to, to find out if he wants to Are you pile in with grab us and get him out and here? pull him along? Or? This, the guy's kind of in the doorway, but you, you're, if you're leaving the side door, it's right in front of him and past him, and he's kind of floating there, captured screaming into pretty much the data flow to mm -hmm. get the cops to come. So the, you can basically the go out the this traitor, you mean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The obvious undercover cop. Right. Well, yeah. yeah, I mean, it's... The damage is done from that guy, so... Yeah, I think we just want to get... Um, so you're opening this door or grabbing the Dawn or grabbing Antonia? Yeah. Dania? Yeah, hopefully hustling the Don and, and Antonia into the into the vehicle. Okay, so you we should have the vehicle move to re re represent where exactly it is. I guess on like the upper floor. Okay, I think sure. it's like right there, right now, isn't it, or like right here? There you go. Perfect. Just you know, keep it all, all in check, so we know where, where everything is. Yeah, it's probably more like this, but. So you can all pour through the back huge... They've got these big doors in the back. You can just kind of plow, plow through. Yeah, i say the doors in the back probably smarter. There's more room back there. Yeah, and then whoever wants to fly can just run all the way to the front of the vehicle and jump in. Yeah. Okay, so Charlie, you move over to the door here, and are you giving them orders and telling them to get in kind of thing? Uh, you can roll politics. I, I guess so. Hustle. Yeah, it, it's uh, more like we need to leave right now. Very fast. Okay. Much, much go. So that's your Mushroom. politic plus uh, uh, CMA association. Okay. And uh, you get an advantage of one of the, the cops coming in. And normally it would be difficult, but I'd say it's only a two. Kind of a dire situation. It's your if you want to get hey, the one success. 
Okay, so they're moving on their own time, not with you. They'll be moving next round. Okay, so it's the next round. Who wants to go first? Who's, I'm all, um, whoever's I'll, gonna be I'll helping first. their task will help the other people will be the thing that I want to go first. Okay. I was about to say, I'm about to run. This guy, I'm sort of floating here. <laughs> That's the question. Launch him to the ground floor. <laughs> I haven't thought about that yet. Mate, yeah. Should I try and throw him out of a window? Try to, like, startle the other? No. I mean, that, that'd be also good. Um, basically, just get, get rid of this guy. Try not to bowl him into Carter. <laughs> Float him in between the cops and us to absorb fire. That's kind of what I was. You're going to slam him against that front window? <laughs> There's so much to do with this nice floating guy. <laughs> so many choices. I don't think there's an advantage of taking him hostage. I mean, we're basically no, getting no. away right now. Yes. So, I say try to knock him unconscious or something or just throw him away. Make sure he can't give any more orders or tell a what we're exactly doing. Okay. So. so you got him captured, so you can just do that. So you kind of just put him in a smash heap in the corner or something? Or just drop him down the hole in the middle. Reznor, smash! Okay, <laughs> you dropping him down the hole in the middle? And knocking him out? Yeah. And then, I guess that doesn't require too much action, does it? Uh, you can move with that action as well, if you want. Alright, well, I think after that, I'm going to Try and cover um, uh, Carter coming up, just to make sure there's no one coming up behind him, or at least no one that we don't want. Sort of. Okay. Like, you know, like, I guess. Okay, so um, these guys are fighting out front. Uh, the windows are being hit by blaster fire. Um, these guys are coming around the side, and these guys are heading for the back door. So they basically move here this round. These guys move forward to join this, and that vehicle might, stays back there. So we might be able to get out of there without them even shooting at us if we can all pile in and fly. <laughs> So we got one guy in the in the alley that can see us. Yeah. Because everybody else is fighting. Yeah, there's a big there's a big there's lots of shooting out front. They actually have these doors are open and they're behind the doors shooting. And you just ran past them, Carter, up the stairs. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Reznor, you're just kind of you just threw this guy down there, and you're kind of standing at the top of the stairs looking down. Yeah, garden to make sure no one comes comes after him, uh, Carter. Okay, so Carter, I'm gonna put you upstairs, I guess. These guys are um, also up there doing that. One of them's moved downstairs, join these guys. Actually, both of them do that. Okay. So okay. my. Is there like a maximum load capacity on this thing? Like how many seats in the vehicle? On the vehicle? The vehicle has two seats in the main thing, and then it has a large, like, kind of utility trailer. You have, like, multiple utility trailers that you can buy, and this one has, like, six seats and a cargo bay. A small yeah, so cargo we're... bay. Oh, yeah, so we're, we're good. good on space. Shove everyone in. Yeah, yeah I, was, I was thinking, like, I'm um, wondering if people are going to have to squeeze or think little thoughts back there. It's basically got a bit of a, like a limo back, and then a, two, two, a couple of different seats at the front. Okay. So. All right. Well, I guess for my action, I'm gonna run in so and make this from remote to direct. Okay. Run so you my... run over to the ship, and uh, yeah. You're not stealthing your vehicles up there, so he notices you. You're being shot at. Defend yourself. Okay. So, defense is most of the time shields or field mechanic skill and your shield. So you have two in field mechanic. 
and two in shields. And you seem to have one reactor power currently. Mm -hmm. So if you're using the reactor power, reduce it to zero. If you're not, roll four dice. Versus a threat of? Five. Oh. Okay, what does the reactor power do again? It increases you by one die, or something to calibrate, but there's... Unless you want to calibrate counter strike, or counter attack, which would allow you to bounce the bolt back at the guy, uh, you can use it as advantage. It's up to you. Where is counter attack? On the shield, as you see it's listed. Calibration, okay. that goes AoE zone, stealth, and counter attack. Okay. Hmm. Well... So, extra dice for the chance to hurt him back. I guess the right now the chance to hurt him back, seeing if I can get him to scurry for cover. I mean, like, having more die to defend yourself so that you don't get hurt is probably more important than hitting this guy, because our objective here is not to fight, right? It's to run. Mm -hmm. So I would, I would no, think I was thinking of holding. I was thinking of holding this reactor thing in reserve for when we actually start getting flying and they're chasing us. Mm. Okay, so 4v5 then. Okay. Roll gooder. Roll gooder. Can I fail? Two successes. Hey. <laughs> awesome. Hey, hey. Oh, maybe. I don't know. How was that? <laughs> okay, so defend. Jedi mind tricks. Okay, so that goes pretty good, but I get to add one to my complications. You need to roll. Okay, so you are in the vehicle then. <clears throat> Next. Uh, it might it might be me doing the same thing. Um, are Antonio and uh, Don Sarnio are are they in the vehicle already? No, they're heading there right now. They can move the same... They were basically moving similar time to Charlie. Oh, okay. So, then, Charlie, you go ahead. So is this guy going to like take a shot at everyone as they get pile into the car? No. Or is he kind of done? He's done. Though. This all is happening simultaneously. Okay. okay. Then... Well, I mean, other than everyone piling into the car... Damaging this vehicle is about the only other thing I could think I might be able to do before we... Take off. Okay, so you're in the office, and you're going to head for this door, right? Yeah. Are head you for this door. white one? Uh, I'm this one. Okay. Uh, I have an important question, I think. Yeah. Um, do I know whether or not these police vehicles can fly as well because we could just fl if they can't then we could just fly out of here and not worry about it but if they can then... uh you will be noticed if you fly above street level for sure mm -hmm. so you're basically be racing back to the ship and then trying to fly away Good now idea. can the grappler go invisible like does it have a cloaking uh, you yes. can extend your you can extend your cloak your shield around it, and you can go invisible and make everybody invisible by using. I'm thinking AOE. once we get the um uh, you know the gra everyone into the grabber, we you know cloak it and then go over the whole fucking mess mess, you know. <laughs> yeah. So, who's going next? Charlie, Cantor, Reznor. I'm gonna go well, last and separate. Accomplish what I need to accomplish. I'll well, wait you, you did, gets you're, in. you're done, Nash. Oh, you're okay. in the. I yeah, thought that was a new turn. Yeah, no, no, we're driving. still in that same turn. Eh? People aren't okay. have to decide what they need to do. Uh, if you guys want to continue thinking about it, I think I'm trying to get in the car as well. You know, simple okay. but effective. So you're also being attacked through the window by two guys. Mm-hmm. So uh, that is six difficulty due to two threats instead of one. So defend okay. yourself with your shield and run for the car. Okay. Uh... All right. And so my shield is two. Um, so am I just 
rolling two die against six, or uh... you're using your field mechanics. Be before you do this, can I just like take some okay. shots at them and then hop in the car, or you can take some shots and run back to the car, kind of retreating, if you want. Yeah. Okay. Either way, he's still getting shot at those. They'll have it at the same time. Sure. So two field mechanics for you, plus two for shields, is four dice against six. Um, right. And there's nothing I can do to give myself more die or anything like that? Uh, you can argue that you have cover behind this wall. Uh, <laughs> and I would agree. Yes. Okay. You have cover. So you have five. Thanks for, the, thanks for the argument. I appreciate it. No worries. Um, I'm always good at arguing with myself. <laughs> All right. So, 5v6. Here we go. Ah. Uh. Okay. You, uh... Do, 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 do. Okay, so this is interesting. Okay, you defend yourself, but you're going to face some sort of challenge. Okay. Okay, so... Um, as you rush the door... Which one are you? You're the... Two. Uh, where is uh, Nash? Is this Nash? Is he, he's still in the car though, right? Yes, I'm, I should be stuck. My pilot. Where's Reznor? You're still outside? We can turn on the name tags on all these tokens, too, if you want to take yeah. to do that. Yeah, I was trying to figure out how to do. Because <laughs> I'm... Show nameplate. There it is. But there's no names on them, so... Oh, I've got my name on mine. <laughs> I went ahead and did that. Yeah, I put, I put mine in. Yeah, I'll do the same. Yeah, show nameplate oh, is right above it, so... I don't know... You guys can do that, or if it's just me, but yeah, I think you have to do it. And then I think maybe you can turn it on so that you can see all of them, or you can turn it on so that it just says show nameplate with a question mark. So maybe in advanced, but I'm not gonna screw around with that right now. Okay, so Carter, you're heading this way, and. You are being shot at when you went through the door, through the window. Reznor's out here. Okay, so, as you run across there, I need you to... Um, oh, shit. Okay, so, uh, as you're running across there, something grabs at your leg. And you get stopped in the doorway. Okay. Uh... Yeah, you I look down to see roll against that next next turn. Okay, Something's sure. happening next turn, but you get stopped on your way, so you don't make it all the way. Okay, who's next, Reznor? Um, I guess I'm going to sort of keep back up, make sure. Um, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to be the last one in. So until you know, I'm gonna essentially. Okay, so these guys are all fighting at the doorway here. Um. Some of them can see up the stairs and are firing at you. So you need to defend yourself against them. So okay, I think I'll... shooting at you. Okay, I think I, I'll try and uh, defend myself a little bit, or at least You're gonna give some them, cover right? fire to them downstairs. Yeah. Okay, so uh, let's do the compelled task first, because I mentioned it first. And okay. so roll your sh field mechanics plus your shields. Okay, so my shield mechanic is three okay. plus, so that's I think that's four, and shield is another two, so that's six. Okay. If I'm correct. Against five. Against five. Okay, let's see what happens here. Been rolling good a little bit now. Let's see what happens. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you fully defend yourself, and now you can take your shot. So that would be right, your so weapons means... and your tractor ray, but you have to put some points into your tractor uh, pistol because you need range. You need all the range because it's far away. So right. you need range three zones. So that's one point for your tractor pistol. So you got three for your weapons and, and one, for one for your tractor pistol because you spent the other one on the range. 
So it'll be four. Four dice. And, and difficulty is one. four. Four. All right, let's see what goes on here. See what we got going on. Okay. One success. Okay, so yep. you hit some armor. You, you see this guy, he gets hit, and it kind of goes off his armored vest. So I hit him, but it doesn't really do too much. Well, you took down his armor. Oh, same as, okay. Same as doing hit points, right? You reduce the armor protection. But it only reduces every three. Right. So it'd be easier to hit him if you would have done three points of armor damage. So if someone else shoots him this round and does two, next round it'd be easier to hit him. Right, right. Okay. okay. Charlie, you're the only one that hasn't gone. Yeah. Um, can I see what grabbed Carter's leg? Um, or is that... We'll have to deal with that next round. That is a next round deal. It's okay. all happening simultaneously. He just um, felt something grab him. Yeah, so if I don't know about that, then I probably just take a shot at the guys out the window and then get in the vehicle. Okay. So do you want to do shoot first or get yeah, shot at let's... first? Because someone is shooting at you. So. Sure. Um, let's get shot at first. Okay. Field mechanics and shields. Okay. Field mechanics... Okay, so that's yeah, four. six because you're going to get shot by two guys because you're standing right in the window and they're shooting. And six. Ooh. Okay. So, do, do, do. You succeed, but I get to add one to the complications. Okay, and you move towards the vehicle, and you're in the vehicle. Okay. Okay. Two in. Let's move your character, actually. Now, where's Nash? He's also in there. Oakley Doakley. Um, that's everybody, then. So, Carter, you go first. What grabbed you was actually an explosion tipping at your, t at, at your back. So, unfortunately, Rasner, you're also there. It's an AoE. So, basically, a grenade. Whoa. Okay. Clipped your, you felt it clip your heel as it went off. Okay, so... <clears throat> you both have to defend yourselves. Field, field mechanics and shields. Or you can use your athletics to kind of dive out of the area. My field mechanics stronger, so I'm going to use that, so... I think my athletics are actually pretty good, so I'm probably going to use that. So you'd use your athletics and your bio-incubator to, like, supercharge your steroidness. Oh, wait. Uh, hold on. So some, you said something earlier about, like, using fitness in explosions? Is that not that applicable? Would, uh, that would be if you just... It is actually... Yes, you're right. It's an AoE. It actually should be fitness and your shields. You're right. Okay. Uh Fitness and your shields, or athletics and your bio incubator to get out of there. Uh, so I'll be doing my fitness and shields. Or, uh, so if it's an explosion, I can't use the field mechanic and a uh, shield. Not really. You're using your shield still. You're just having to use fitness just to survive something you can't really. You're not avoiding by getting out of it. Well, either. Either way, if I use athletics or fitness, it's going to be two plus two, so it's going to be a four. Either way, so. So there doesn't matter. Yeah. Aim to roll into the car. Aim to roll into the car. <laughs> you can yeah, explode right. that way. <laughs> your standard action can be moving to the car, and this is your thing. So the difficulty is six, seven because you're being shot at, Carter, as you do it. Seven for both of you, because you're both being shot at, and you're having an explosion happen on you. It's pretty hard. To uh -huh. All right. So six v seven. This gone foobar. Mine's only four yeah, man. <laughs> versus seven. <I'm> a... <laughs> Let's see. Hey, half the half the crew lives. Negative Not one. Too bad. <laughs> Negative one. Okay, so <laughs> I am. Hmm. 
I don't want to give you a condition, really. Okay, so I'm going to... Well, how you do this, you go to your character sheet. Carter. And see the armor damage thing? I do. Just move that to one. Okay. Same thing, Reznor. All right. So now your armor is damaged. Now to fix your armor, it's a project where you actually have to do like a project kind of like we did with negotiation, except you're basically doing your mechatronics tasks and stuff to repair your armor. Actually, in this right. case, it would be a bio incubator because you're not wearing any armor. It's your bio armor. It's your natural resistance. I think yeah, I, I've got yeah, mine. Just says bio armor for. Yeah, uh, I think yeah. everybody's only got that. We don't have a lot of armored individuals here. Okay, right, right. so you're all in the car, I guess. We yeah, cool. Uh, the Dawn and what's your face in the car as well? Yeah, she they went with Charlie. So okay, so you're gonna try to peel out of there. Are you going sky high or? Like <laughs> I think, yeah, we should just we should just get well, out of here, say, head um, towards our ship as quick as we can. Well, I'd say first we cloak ourselves and peel out of there. Okay, so yeah, who's sure. gonna yeah. extend their shields and stealth the vehicle? Um, um, what exactly? With the shield or the just shield? The vehicle itself doesn't have anything because it's not that sort of thing. It is a car. It's just got well, an engine. Well, um, what what I mean is, is there another like? Is it just the shield that's being? Activated, or is there like you know the um, uh, interface or the um, uh, field mechanic? You always have a skill has... and you always have a tool, always. So it would be field mechanics, and it would All be right, shields, so think... and you have I to have... spend both AOE zone and stealth. So it eats up a lot. It's really quite hard to do. Right. All right. So does everybody have a tool in shields? I've got a two in shield, but I've also got a um, uh, three in field mechanic and a one experience, so I've got a four in field mechanic. Okay, so let's say you're doing it. You don't have to actually do it right now. You just right. have to say you're doing it, and then um, we will, when you're trying to be detected, we will do that. Okay. 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 So... You're probably going to do that right away because you're doing it right in front of somebody. I'm just telling you because it's actually a compelled task to stealth. Right. Mm -hmm. Because I tried it the other way. It didn't work. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so you're going to go fly high. Um, pretty much the difficulty here is going to be to get out of their sight and try to get out of, get out of there. So you're going against them, not the difficulty of flying. Flying is pretty easy in this situation. Uh, so, uh, I forget how the action, the action turn thing is going. But is there any way I could use either my mechatronics or my gravity mechanic skill to like boost our engines temporarily or something like that, so we can get out of here faster or something like that? Yeah, you could use your gravity mechanics to uh, try to temporarily boost the engine. Yeah, yeah, I'd love to try that. Okay, uh, that's Don't a fail pretty the ordinary task. So three. Okay. Cool. Um, and I'd be using gravity mechanics plus my tractor pistol, or your gravity mechanics plus your link. Plus my link. Okay, sorry. Because you're actually manipulating the engine itself. All right, like so one. that's four die and one in link, so five versus target three, right? Or threat three. Yes. Boom! Four successes. Boom! Yeah. <laughs> One crit for <Mic> drop. <laughs> okay, so that means you get actually a reactor point, Carter. Nice cool. on that. <laughs> to add to I... your your thing, and Nash, you get a bonus. Awesome. Well, considering that uh, I'm a th apparently I'm a thrill seeker. This Nos right here that I just got is great. <laughs> okay, so you need to roll your piloting plus the grav Graveler's rating. And, okay. uh, which I believe is two. Plus your piloting, which I think is four in total. Yes. Uh, is it? So, yes, oh, I have a. Sheet. I have three and then uh, expertise. Yes, so it's four. Mm -hmm. And then two for the Grav, so it's six. Yeah. So seven, since you said I got a plus one. Yeah. 
and the difficulty is the fact that those cars are now chasing you so this is more of a chase scene thing and then when you actually get a chance to be outside of their view then it's stealth time and you can try to hide okay then i'm gonna if this is the chase right now this so is when i'm gonna when burn my reactor the roof, they're all moving towards you all these cars are like they're moving so they're starting to follow we don't really need this map anymore and so they're all trying to follow you and as soon as you get over the roof it's the time when they could possibly lose you okay so then i'm going to use my reactor point and turn that to zero and now i'm looking at this thing as i'm on the second bubble for reactor what does that mean oh the reactor that basically means that you can store between scenes up to two points in your reactor it really oh, okay. matters for longer games, more than one shots. Like, yeah. like bonds doesn't really matter for one shots either. Okay, so it just gives me a plus one to my die. Uh, when you spend the reactor point. Yes, because I'm using that. Yes, so it this gives you is plus the case. one. It okay. Gives you eight, and the difficulty getting away is uh, difficulty of one of them. Like that, they do have sensors. So that would be four, but there's three vehicles trying to track you. So that increases by two, so it's six. Eight v six. Well, I'm glad I used it. <laughs> right? Okay, gentlemen. This is this is Yo! Here we go! <laughs> okay, that's something. <laughs> So it's partial. So you basically get up onto the roof. You're not totally out of the zone and moving into the city map yet. Because that's really what you're trying to do is transist maps right now. But you're up above the building. And so Carter, now is them trying to see you. You can uh, stealth. I think who was going to stealth with me? Oh, sorry. It's, it's way easier to talk to the people whose faces I can see, because I just yeah. saw black boxes. Let's, I'll just turn off my my face and... <laughs> no! We can, all, we can all go black. Just me and boxes playing a, playing a game. I, I, I figured out that for some reason uh, my computer like just completely said bye-bye to my camera. I can't even pull it up. Uh, are you using Chrome? In the corner there's a little... Chrome always tries to block your camera, so you have to make sure that it isn't blocked. There's a little yeah, camera I, symbol right next to the star in the bar. Well, I'm using I'm using uh, Firefox, so... Oh, I haven't used Firefox in years. So I don't I'm know. not exactly sure what's going on. Okay, so, Re Reznor. Right. You're I've got your field uh, mechanics. I've got four in field mechanics. Your shield, I got but shield minus two on your shield. So essentially, just yeah. field mechanic. Yeah, yeah, so it'd just be four essentially. And you get a bonus of one from the success of the driving. Woo! So it'd be a five. Yep. And, and the difficulty, and or the, the amount, difficulty right? is six. Six? Oh, great! <laughs> well, there's three vehicles <laughs> trying to track you, so. Yeah, that's true. All right, let's see what we got here. Ah, that right? <laughs> Damn it. Okay. I'm good at shooting, just not with the technical stuff. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to be our tech guy. <laughs> okay, so... You see two... Two aircraft join the fight. Two flying mm -hmm. vehicles. They look a lot like the ones that were chasing you on the ground, but they're in the air. Three, two airborne units are now chasing you. Okay, so next round. Is anybody going to do anything? You can shoot at these two new vehicles. You can attempt to... Can we, like, scramble their comms or something like that? You could, yes. It might not help they can see you right now, but it would keep them from, I don't know, bringing in more forces or anything. Or letting them know where we're headed. Or letting them know where you're headed or anything like that. So you're using your comms. 
and your communication skills to jam their communications. Maybe. That depends. Who uh, I think who had the best communications? It might be me. Yeah. I've done my part in failing. <laughs> so you're using your link. Um, sure. And it's got jam on it. And you need AOE region. That's the main thing you need to add. So you need to add one point from that. And then, so that basically means you just get your skills. So you have four dice. Okay. And the difficulty on that is four. Because you use nice. AOE, they don't get multi. Scramble in their comms. Okay. Their comms are totally, their comms are blacked out. It comms are the entire, like, region, as in the other maps region, which is where you are about to move into, so I'm letting you do it on there. For the entire, like, warehouse district, are basically out. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> okay, so, we need, I'm gonna get someone, Reznor, do your stealth thing. Yeah. And you get a bonus from the comms block out. Okay, so that would be... Four plus one? Uh, one second. Where are you? So your field mechanics is four. Right. And My your shield can't do much because you need to use all the points for it. Yes, so five versus there's only two vehicles that could actually possibly see you right now trying to detect you 5v5 alright let's see what I can get here yeah look at that, that. Look at that. Oh. okay let's go to stealth see what that really means okay so you're hidden but they're super. They're still alert, trying to look for you. So you are now hidden. Okay, Nash, you get an advantage too, as well. Um, they're just kind of looking for you, so your difficulty actually also drops. Okay, so I have a base of six, and then you said plus two, so I'm at eight. Is Carter's thing still in effect? I uh, know. Okay. So now I'm moving from escape to evading, which is kind of... Yeah, you're just kind of trying to sneak around and try not to get noticed by their normal things. I mean, they're alert in the general area, but they don't know where you are. You're hidden. Okay. Okay, and what is my threat? Uh, you're basically trying to get across without all those different types of forces noticing you, including the airborne air radar. So that, that radar is probably a five because they're just... Swoop. It's a four. It's a four. Okay. Because you don't know where to look. It's a four. Okay. Here we go. Uh, yes. Boom. Huh? Crit. So nice. you get to charge your reactor. Yes. Now, now we figured out the game. <laughs> you guys are winning at the role playing now. Okay. So um, what is your total score, by the way? Or your total number of dice you rolled? Eight? I rolled eight. Okay, so you can remove that total number of zones. One, two, three, four. I think we need to switch maps. Yeah, he said we were going to switch, switch, switch maps before. Yeah, but I'm just going on my own. I don't need you guys. <laughs> <laughs> There's no players necessary for this game. <laughs> three. Okay, I've tried. Can anybody get a number of zones that gets you there in eight? Because I can't. Uh, from warehouse to our ship. Yeah. One, well, two. actually, we should we should actually speak with our uh, with our NPCs. Yeah, you can get. Do you, do you count the one you start in or no? Just. Yeah, so it's, not one, the one you start in. So it's one. Two. two three. Four. <laughs> five. Yeah. Okay, if you take that route, it's it should have been one higher. <laughs> oh, the difference. Should do the route first. So I'm gonna say you get you get you're getting to the ship. 
Yeah, because the other one went one, two... Because if you go over the port, they have higher security there. What about, like, right... Uh, 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 Charlotte, the pilot, figure it out. <laughs> okay. One, two, one, two, three, four... We can get to the five, beginning of Wharf Town by going through the yeah, five get, strip. Yeah, we can get, yeah. like, one zone away, basically. Hmm. Okay. So, you guys are pulling up outside the general area in Wharf Town where... Um, where they actually have the park ships. Uh, you're in the same zone, I guess, as the police department. And um, you can tell well, they're patrolling around the ship in okay. general. I was thinking this one right here, this this zone. Sure. Okay, you're in that zone. You can kind of... You can't really detect where they're patrolling exactly, but there are, they're around here. Basically, they're guarding up the port zone really well. They don't really know who you are. So, they're not, like, there's no way of being able to tell if they're actually just doing your ship at all. So. Can we can we talk to um, Don oh. Sarnio and ask him uh... if he can pull something, some leverage, yeah. maybe? He oh, actually another... asks you, he wants to, you to take him to uh, to a place in Little Italy and drop him off. Okay, can we turn around? Can we can not we make that move? Yeah. Might have changed our um, uh... Okay. Well, maybe we should have done that then. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you didn't ask him, so he wants yeah. you to take him there. Okay. Um. Uh... Right there. He's got a restaurant out there, and uh, he can f we can finish the deal there, and he'll actually pay you. So he wants to add that to the negotiation. So if someone who's talking to him wants to roll. Rely on my uh, I guess I can do that. Mm -hmm. What am, what am I rolling? Uh, you should roll. Um, economy. Economy. Okay. And uh, because you're not act because you're actually making a deal rather than trying to buy something, you don't use your local credits. Instead, you use um, CMA. Okay. So. So five. Okay. And the difficulty is three. Just like the rest three? of the project, yeah. God. <laughs> oh man. He just punked you out, dude. <laughs> okay, so he's not super impressed with you, but you still have three <laughs> points left. And you can easily okay. spend two of them on this obligation. Well, uh, we completed we all of our objectives. We am, uh, ensured that you know they were both not caught, and we protected Antonia. I have the wrong thing selected. Sorry. We finished all. We basically, you know, met our contractual agreement. Well, I mean, it's dictated by the rule, right? How how happy he is yeah. with us and whatnot. Yeah. yeah. The uh, the stipulation for sure, Antonia is not. Uh, the residual value should be two, should it not? Oh, yeah, I didn't. Uh, yeah, I should raise that. Good eye. And I need to do this from scratch because it doesn't let me cut and paste very easy. Oh, yeah. Okay, so you're putting these three points onto this new addendum. <laughs> And I will type that in. But yeah, that'll be 300, so... We won't have to write it in. I know some people have to go. We've gone long. Okay, great. So, uh... Is there another flying check for me? Yeah, because where did you go? We were in the middle of talking about where you went when that happened, so we can have yeah. said that you we were... went this direction if you wanted. Yeah, we... We were we were heading there, but since we're changing direction. Okay, so you drop him off there. Uh, he, him, and Antonia have a conversation during that route about um, about making the deal. He apologizes for this. The cops have been a pain lately, and pretty much uh, we have to do one more flight and perhaps a stealth test to get back to the ship. 
So Nash, do you want to roll piloting? I shall roll piloting. One, two. Are you going through the port district, or are you going? Um, I'm trying to skirt around. <sighs> My route should be somewhere, something like this. We shouldn't go through. No, the don't go through the villa district. Don't go the through the villa. The district's gonna be probably as bad as. Yeah, that's no okay. Good. Okay, so how about something along the lines of... Avoiding both the Villa District and the Port is really difficult. Yeah, that's where you are. Yeah, Those are the richer areas. He wants to stay away from there. Okay, well, then let me let me get this circumvented. <laughs> we fly right through here. it twice. We just fly it, right through the Port twice. It would just increase it by one if you go through the Port. It's going to increase all your tasks by your, your uh, stealth by one. <laughs> And if you go through the Villa District, it might do that as well because of the increased police presence there. Well, the Villa District, there it's so much shorter of a route. Maybe we should just do that. Yeah, well, I mean, it, it just go everything like depends. Down and over. Mm -hmm. Okay, what do you think? Who, Res yeah. Resnor, you're the one who's rolling this stealth test. All right. So... Okay, so roll on the let's, let's roll on the movement first, or let's roll on the stealth first, I guess. Yeah, because this will determine which route I take if we if we don't stealth. So it's basically four, and then is there any bonuses or whatnot? Uh, your stealth is four. Uh, there. Yeah, let's do the. We want to do the movement first because you want a bonus on stealth, right? Sure. Yeah. Okay, Basically. roll the movement first. You're making this route, and you're going to see whether or not you get seen on the way. Okay, so... Because we're not group seen, I don't need to... Group consensus real so quick. It am is I going through the villa, or am I going can, through the, can our the long ship, route? Can our ship remotely take off? Yes. <laughs> but, you don't have to actually roll Nash, because... It is not hard. Nobody's chasing you right now. They're only okay. looking for you. So only failing the stealth is the thing. So you can take either route. It's just going to take longer. If you go this way around, it takes two rounds. If you go the other way, it takes two two rounds, which is like, at this scale of map, is like 15 minutes. A kex. So do you want to take half an hour, or do you want to take 15 minutes to get back to the ship? It's expediency versus security so, here. Two rolls from Reznor for stealth, or one roll? That's harder. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> <laughs> Look at my track record, huh? <laughs> hmm. I mean, it's it's both bad either way, because your probabilities yeah. have been pretty bad. <laughs> yeah. Can, hmm. Can, can, can I... Are, so our ship can take off remotely? Yeah. Can we just have it meet us over the lake? Uh, it, just, it flies to the lake, we fly to it, we fly okay. inside and then just take You're off. You're see your vessel flying <laughs> over the lake and stuff. You could try to I fly mean, straight up. You mean fly straight up and meet, like... Meet? Meet in, like, orbit meet kind us. of deal? Okay. So who's going to fly the ship? That's actually going to be a roll required. Flying up as long as you don't right. exit... The planet isn't really a role. Um, I, I guess I'll do that. Can I do both? No. no. Okay. I'll fly. I'll fly the ship. You fly. Okay. So. Okay. Roll against. Because uh, right, because they're gonna be they're gonna be waiting for us at the ship anyway, so we might as well just. Well, if you take over this, <laughs> if you take over the little thing, I'll waste the reactor point on flying the ship. Okay. Uh, you have to use the ship's reactor, and either of you can use that, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, there you oh, okay. go. So you have a reactor point, and the ship has a reactor point. So I'll use the ship, and I'll use that reactor point. Okay. Okay, you so we're going to kind of do this as uh, <laughs> two rolls. You both have to roll because you're actually going way above. Like, you're not just above the ground. You're basically trying to exit atmosphere and meet another vessel at full movement speed. So you okay. both have to roll. Uh, Nash, it's a three difficulty. Okay, so and I have six. I wasted my reactor point. I'm at seven. Charlie, it is a three plus the remote thing, so four difficulty for you. Okay, uh, here we go for me. So, <sighs> yeah, win. Nice. Uh, so, uh, so you're is there. Is, is the it the ship? There? 
stats that I'm rolling? Yeah, I'll move to the ship sheet. Yeah, I don't know what... Because <laughs> you don't know it. I'll, I have to figure out how to make it so we can have the ship sheet as another character sheet, but you need to do a bunch yeah. of API shit for that, so I haven't done it. Right. So you have okay. one point there in your uh, reactor that you can reactor. use. Yeah, so I'll use that. So use your grav drive, which is three. Okay. Plus your piloting. Which is three. So six, so seven. Seven. And the difficulty is four. Uh, it's doable. Oh my god! <laughs> okay. So the ship, when you get there, is, is totally out it. of position. And uh, someone aboard, you, whoever wants to, can control the, sh the ship needs to do a stealth test. So, field mechanics, plus the ship's shields, which are three. But it has to spend Rest. one on camouflage. That's it. Because it's actually the ship's shields. Well, I've got four in field mechanic. Okay, so are your four field mechanics, plus two, because you have to spend one on the camouflage. So it'll be six. And the difficulty is... Six. Oh, great. Even. Uh, prepare for alarms to go. Dice. <laughs> Man. Uh, <laughs> okay, so you're detected, but they didn't expect you to be there. So... It's a surprise, Nash, but they you can totally dock with the ship, and then if you... And whoever and Charlie, you can try to fly that ship out of here and get out of orbit in time. So Nash, you want to roll that at, at docking first, so you can get in. Okay. So, so it, it's normally a routine the... task, but you're doing it <laughs> above a planet. The ship totally pointing the wrong direction, and vehicles are flying <laughs> up trying to like. They're not launched yet because I had no idea you were gonna be there. So and you're trying to do it really quick. So I'd say. Let's make it a usual, it's a three. Okay. So you're using the Graveler, plus your piloting, yeah, against okay. three. Okay, six versus three. <laughs> <laughs> and... Jesus. <laughs> you guys are like the worst rollers I've ever seen, it's ridiculous. Okay. Well, our, our curve is like this for the session. Just total <laughs> failure, total failure, decent. I know, it's crazy, okay. Wow. So, okay, so you do dock, but, um... Kind of like an emergency landing inside the ship? It's a little fender bender. It's fine. <laughs> we'll bump it out. <laughs> That's right. As long, right as, it's not, as long as it's not fiberglass, we don't have to work with Bondo. Uh, I don't even know what to do with this. This is a crazy town. Okay, so, uh... Okay, yes, you do crash into the thing. Uh, um, I just want to go home. <laughs> yeah, basically you crash a vessel, we'll tell you the damage afterwards. Um, yeah, it takes it takes uh, three points of damage to the Graveler. So if you could move the Graveler's armor or damage up by two. Damage up by two. Yeah. And you're on board, so um, you basically have this one round. If you can roll really good to get out of orbit, you're good. Otherwise, you're going to be in a firefight. So, Okay, I'm going to jump out and I'm running to the ship to, to go take the pilot seat. Um, it actually has to be able to be Charlie, so you have to do it this round if you want that. Oh, shit. Okay. Charlie. Uh... So is it pilot, pilot, pilot plus reactor? Pilot plus the graph drive, which is three, but you're three. But you're using one point for the re remote. Okay, five. Okay, against uh four. <laughs> 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 of course, of course, Charlie. 
Negative three. Okay. So, <laughs> you pull out of orbit directly into the directly into the path of three enemy ships. There's Good three job, shuttles. They've basically been <laughs> alerted of you, and they're moving towards you. Now, are you stealthing the vessel still, Reznor? Uh, I don't know if I was stealthing the vessel. I was stealthing the um. Uh, um... You were stealthing the vessel last round. Okay. To keep it from can being I can you and you failed. Yes. If you can succeed on this, they won't know where you are. You'll just be like in them, like that right inside a... their zone. So the well, difficulty on this. Thing? Yes. So you're on board the ship. Uh, it was the same round, so you still have to use remote. So you're using your field mechanics. That's four plus the two. three, but minus the one. Yeah. Well, you have to use so stealth six. on the shields, too, so. So six. It's actually supposed to make it one more difficult. Sorry. That's a difficulty thing. So you get, what is your field mechanics? Four? Four. And then you get two from there. That's six. And it's against six. Because so five, six six five for the vessels that you're, like, amongst, and then one for the remote. i sorry, I added the remote. I switched it, like, three months ago. I keep forgetting. So what's the difficulty? Six. Six v. six. Okay. So six and six. Let's yeah. see what we got here. Oh, dear God. Yay! Yeah. Okay. So you're, like, inside their zone, and they're all there, but you are lucky enough to be stealth. <laughs> Okay. I'm when it matters. <laughs> <laughs> and they start moving in towards where you were last seen. You get away by the nick of your... Just in the nick of time. <laughs> by the scrapings of my pores. <laughs> I have never seen such a bad roll <laughs> in my life. This, this whole session has just been up and down. I've never Nothing seen so many negative seen. numbers. Why can't anything go smooth? Okay, guys, thanks for playing. It was fun. It was yeah. cool. Interesting. It, it was a learning experience <laughs> for me on this whole, on the using Roll20 for this game. And I hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. You can tell people about oh, the yeah. game, whatever you want. Um, I'm tell people about this horrible roll session we had. <laughs> <laughs> well, pimp, pimp my game while you're at it, right? Tell them about my yeah. Twitter. Kind of about or... even. We kind of broke even there. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I think if you added it up, you did. Because if you look at my, uh, my.